Hi and welcome to War HQ. My name is Lucius. Today what we'll be doing is going over some recent Gaslands purchases uh, that I got from Etsy. Now this one is from a group called Creepy Hero Games and uh, they're based in the US from what I understand. Um, I've got a couple of vehicles here for reference but uh, I've bought quite a few of their kits and I just thought I'd yeah, give you a bit of a look today. Gives them a bit of a plug but also um, yeah, it just shows you some of the stuff that you might want to do with it. Um, so if you have a look down here, uh, one of the first items I got was hazard tokens. I think there's like 36 of them. I mean, they're just like little nifty nifty hazard tokens there. Um, pretty self-explanatory. I think with 36, it's probably all I'm ever going to need. Um, that's six full cars I can get to a, a sort of a flip <laughs> level of hazard. Um, some of the simpler items, uh, here's some of the barricades. Um, you can see here, so the barricades, you've got a couple of damage sections. You see they're in like large and small. Some end sections, a middle section, which can go either way. Um, yeah, they're, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, very simple sort of prints on these ones. Um, but ultimately fairly you know, useful for what they are. This is some damage. It's just sort of got the iron sections. Um, that one's got a damage on it. Uh, these ones are just fairly straightforward, you know, and you can obviously join these together. You could put them on uh, like a base as well, I think, is probably what I'll do, and I'll make little sections that go together and join. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, these tires over here is another whole section. Now you can see here these are already pre-stuck together um, and printed. Um, you know, like the quality isn't fantastic, but um, these two items with... Um, uh, uses scenery um, that's all you really need hey like um, it's quite a few tires here I think what I'll do is the same I'll put them on bases and then um, glue these on and make sort of scenery pieces instead of just keeping them um, separate like this like they are now um, some of my favorite bits from this one are these rams so this is a, a kit like this whole ram set here what I like about it it's got two sizes per ram so like you can see each ram and grill that you've got You've got two sizes, so you've got these sort of like traditional kind of um, greater blade type of ones, like from a you know earth mover or something. You've got ones here with uh, spikes. I've got the case of the drops. Um, so you've got those. You've got like these grill kind of ones, which are pretty cool. They're sort of shaped to the to the vehicle itself too. These ones are like more of a pipe sort of look. I don't mind them either. Um, more traditional sort of bull bar sort of style. Um, again, like another grated sort of uh, protruding one. Uh, they're pretty cool. The options for those are, you know, endless, I guess. Um, you've got a whole drop weapon section, which I quite like. I, I picked up this one straight away. Um, you've got things like little gas tanks here, tanks for the back of vehicles. Um, you know, look, little, uh, you know, cylinders of fuel or napalm, whatever you'd want it to be. You've got these kind of like coil laser things, which are pretty interesting. I don't know what you'd use those for, but something Mishkin or something. Um, yeah, like little boxes, um, you know, you could use as drop weapons. Uh, these things, you know, oil slicks, I don't know, they're, they're pretty handy. Um, even if you didn't use them for a drop weapon, I think some of these would make really cool um, additions to vehicles. So say you're going to do like um, a cult of flame or something, you could use, put these on vehicles as like you know, extra tanks for fuel and stuff like that. Um, moving on to the weapon packs, I've got a few weapon packs and here's some of the stuff you can see in it. These I think are like, you could probably cut these to size as machine guns for like uh, windows and things like that, you know, um, if you're going to stick them out of the front of windows and stuff like that. But you could also use them, I was thinking like as a sort of a truck exhaust, you know, like a truck exhaust that comes up the side of, of cars like that. Um, you know, like a sort of something like that, like a truck exhaust. Um, uh, some of these guns, a lot of, the, a lot of these are sort of designed, you can see around like just, you know, just place it straight on top of the vehicle or on the side. They've got flat bases, a lot of them. So this would be, you know, something like this on a rooftop um, could work quite well, as you can see, like that. I mean, if you want just a simple conversion, um, you know, you've got these big guns, you've got these Gatlin cannons, uh, you've got a whole missile section over here. So these missile pods here, you've got like a, a missile that's sort of like auto feed missile launcher or bazooka. It's quite cool. Um, just more traditional sort of bazooka. Um, some of the bigger guns, like have a look at this big cannon, that's massive, 125mm cannon, I think I'm going to save that for my war rig, 
We've got sort of more of another bazooka kind of Panzer Fausty looking thing over here. Some flamethrowers. Um, these are quite cool. You know, something like that on the back of a truck, or this one could be mounted. I was thinking, uh, this one could be mounted on top of a um, like a turret on the back of a truck or something. Would look pretty cool. It's already got some big tanks. This is like a either like a laser or a pickup arm, like so you could convert that to whatever you want, really, which is sort of interesting. Um, heaps more turret guns. You've got uh, some of these mortar kind of things. Pretty cool on the back of a pickup or something. I uh, have a mortar in there, a couple of different styles there. These big sort of mounted guns, heaps of machine guns and heaps of like mounted guns that you can see there. This is just a bit of a simple look um, at these particular um, upgrade kits that you can buy uh, from this manufacturer um, and some of the terrain and obviously uh, tokens. I'd, I'd say, um, you know, it's not, the printing isn't the highest quality, but I think in this case you really get what you pay for. Um, for, for the price I paid for these, um, I'm very happy. Uh, most of the kits for the weapons were like under $3 um, and the rams and then the scenery sets were like sort of just over $5, I think. Um, so fairly cheap all round. Like, you know, there's, if you have a look at what I've got in front of me, I really didn't spend a lot of money on that. Um, and the conversions and the, you know, just as parts to have sitting around and then the scenery and then just the use of having those tokens, like obviously not looking for something all the time to use. I think this is quite a good purchase, you know? Um, so, you know, if you're in the neighborhood, check out, um, creepy hero games. Um, and yeah, this has been Lucius. I'll be doing a few of these. Um, I'll be using a lot of these parts in my next couple of builds. So keep an eye on those. That little monster truck over there is going to be one thing that I'll be building. Uh, keep an eye on it. Um, for now, have a look at Etsy on Creepy Hero Games if you want to check these out. Um, no way affiliated with them. I just randomly found them on Etsy. Um, and yeah, this is just what I picked up. So it gives you a little bit of a, a look at them. And um, yeah, have a nice day. Uh, this is Lucius. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment on our videos. And um, for now, I'm signing out.